Get up now! There's a Sharknado coming! Stay away from the windows! My name's Olivia. I was born with a rare genetic condition. The river goes to the battle. My suffering does not define With every me. battle I face, I am made stronger through faith. I am free! Yeah! And stick with me if you want to live. This is not my first time. Echo Alto! Good morning, everybody. So, I don't normally do a full day's vlog. Maybe I have, or maybe I've done like, um, like tried to do a full day's vlog and um, didn't, <laughs> like only took pieces of it. But um, I'm gonna try to do a full day's vlog today because um, I want to know, oh gosh, I want y'all to know what my days look like um, from the time that I wake up until the time that I go to sleep. And um, I already did my meds. I do those literally as soon as I wake up or I can't get out of bed because they help increase my blood pressure and wake me up. So, um, normally it takes like 30 minutes for that to start working, but also slowly starting to sit up and get out of bed helps a lot. It looks pretty dark in here whenever I focus on like, um, just myself then it looks dark but it's not that dark because I don't shut my blinds all the way my shutters all the way because if I did it literally is pitch black in here um, and I fell asleep working on my sister's little bucket hat it last night and I showered and of course got my formula I'm gonna tell y'all what I do but 
I don't recommend what I do because I try to make things easier on myself by uh, just putting formula in my bag for today and then I'll set out two other bags and fill those out, fill those up and put them in my mini fridge and um, those are for the next two days because um, I don't know if I'll be too tired or my blood pressure will be too low to do it the next day. So it's just better to have some ready for the next day and get them ready whenever I feel like it. But I am on Kate Farms Peptide Formula, which is only good for 24 hours after it's been opened. So it's not recommended to put it in the fridge or anything like that for extended periods of time, like a few days after opening it. But that's just what I do. I've never had a problem with it. Um, but yeah. Then I just set this up and normally I'll use my IV pole for my formula and infusions. They're being ran at the same time or I'll put my formula up there uh, for like a couple hours and then put it into my fanny pack because um, if I put it in my fanny pack like this, it doesn't close very well and um, the seams are actually starting to get pretty weak and I'm going to have to get a new one pretty soon. Um, oh, they actually popped open in one spot. Because sometimes I overfill... Why is it still tracking my head? Okay. Yeah, sometimes I overfill my bags to where the, my fanny pack's ripping. So, yeah. Then I just hook up to it. And I remove this. And um, if it's if it's like dirtier than usual, then I'll wipe around it, but since I just showered and put that one on last night, it's not that dirty, so I'm just going to replace this. I normally use split gauze while I'm at home, and then if I'm going to go out anywhere and I want to wear something cute, or if it's like a crop top, and if I lift my arms, my stomach might show or something, then I want to wear like one of my cute tubby pads. Then. I am going to access my port and I'll meet y'all back here. My port is now accessed and um, now I have to fill up my weekly meds. Normally I do this on the weekend or Monday at the latest, but I didn't pick up my medications until last night yeah so um i got night meds morning meds and a while back i told myself i was gonna get and i think i even told you guys i don't know but i was going to get a midday med container but um my midday meds are still mixed in with my night meds but I'm used to it being that way, so it's not hard to organize them in my container. And I have my um, my meds for this week already filled out, and this one's going to be for uh, next week. But here's the time. I have to take all these bottles first. And um, remove them from the packaging and put them all into here. And then I'm going to put them into the med container. I 
looking at my room because it was pretty cluttered. I mean, what else did I do? Oh, I had to organize my backpack because something really weird happened. It's Tuesday, October 19th. Something weird happened over this weekend on Saturday. My brother started to go into anaphylaxis. My older brother. And it was really weird. We were at the restaurant and he just started to go into anaphylaxis. And um, he, I guess, hates needles. He was afraid. And um, I mean, EpiPens are pretty painful, but I'm used to them. So they don't really bother me anymore. But whenever I went to give it to him, he kept telling me no, 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 no. And like, we had to walk out of the restaurant through like, I think it's like a fire exit door. But yeah, we had to walk out there and like I had to get him out there really fast. Um, because obviously we didn't want to like cause huge, huge scene in there, but I gave him an EpiPen and then some Benadryl and my sister and I drove separately and um, my sis, my other sister's car and the rest of the family drove in the suburban. So yeah, that was really weird. But anyways, um, I had to reorganize my bag because everything was like out of place. And I like to have my meds super accessible and organized so that I can get to them quickly in situations like that. Um, usually for myself, but yeah. Um, now I have to take a test and do some homework and uh, then I'm going to crochet a little bit. I finished my little brother's jack-o'-lantern hat but I think he's wearing it so I can't show it to y'all after he gets home from school then I can just show it to y'all because it's so cute and it took me forever to finish because it has so many little pieces on it and right now I'm working on a strawberry bucket hat and I know that this is pink but this is the color my sister picked out it's for my 12 year old sister, the one that was in the, well, she's in a lot of my videos. Yeah. But you'll know she's not, not the 20 year old, but nobody guesses that she's 12. Yeah, this is for my 12 year old sister. Mis compañeros de la residencia estudiantil Hernández, es bastante normal. Todas las mañanas oyen el despertador a las 5. That test actually took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but I'm done with that test and um, my little brother has been out of school for many hours now because it's now almost 6.30 at night, but this is the jack o lantern hat I made him and I am working on the strawberry bucket hat. I just started working on it again like less than 10 minutes ago so um, there's not much more completed on it but yeah now I'm just going to um, keep working on the strawberry, bu strawberry bucket hat I can't speak and um, do some Spanish homework that test took a lot longer because um, I'm working my class is on chapter 8 in the textbook right now and um, the professor of the class doesn't always post the tests whenever it is um, like after we just finish the chapter sometimes he takes a while and sometimes he forgets to post the new chapter but thankfully the new chapter is posted, the test was posted late, so I actually just took the test over chapter 7. And we're in the middle to end of chapter 8, and then we're going to get the test for that soon, in like a week. Because technically I'm on fall break, but I still have homework to do, and I have this week and next week to do the homework. So normally I do it in like a week and or like over two days and it takes like a second to do, not a second, but like it takes up the full two days, but then I'm free for the rest of the time. Like I don't have to do any other schoolwork 
and normally I can just work, but my Jeep obviously is out, so I'm out of work, so um, I've just been working on these hats and um, doing school and trying to keep myself busy in other ways and um, like I said, cleaning and then um, I just organized the Halloween stuff and there's a lot of supplies, but y'all will see all that whenever it's Halloween time. La naranja. La lechuga. <laughs>